In today's lab, we will study how different musical instruments produce sound. For string instruments, like the violin, the bridge transmits the vibrations of the strings to the body. The body then vibrates, creating sound waves. Let's take a look at the Fourier spectrum for a violin. We can pluck one of the fatter, heavier strings to produce a lower frequency sound, or pluck one of the thinner, lighter strings to get a higher frequency sound. Using a bow instead of plucking the violin string will produce a different Fourier spectrum. We can compare the sound produced by using a bow to play a string to plucking the same string. These two oscillations have different wave shapes, but have the same period. Moving a bow across the string produces sound via a stick-slip phenomenon. Different harmonics of the fundamental are produced in this process than are produced when plucking. This gives the two oscillations different Fourier spectra. We can see that the oscillation produced by the bow has a much bigger second harmonic than the oscillation produced by plucking. Brass instruments, like the trombone, function as open pipes. By changing the length of the pipe, we can change the fundamental frequency. In the case of the trombone, this is done by moving the slide out. A bigger length makes a smaller or lower frequency. Let's look at the Fourier spectrum for a brass instrument. This is the Fourier spectrum for a French horn. Like the trombone, you can change the pitch of the French horn by changing the length of the pipe. This is done by opening and closing the valves. A recorder is another example of an instrument that is an open pipe. In this case, we can change the fundamental frequency by covering up finger holes along the length of the pipe. The Fourier spectrum for the recorder has a very strong fundamental frequency compared to the amplitude of the other harmonics. This produces a wave shape that is close to a sine wave. Let's take a look at how a piano produces sound. The hammers on the piano hit the strings, causing them to vibrate. The vibrations of the string are transmitted to the piano's soundboard. This soundboard then vibrates and produces sound waves. Once you lift your finger off the key, the dampers press on the string to stop the vibrations. We can see this in action as we play a C major scale. We can also take a look at the Fourier spectrum of the piano. As we go up an octave, the Fourier spectrum changes. For D4, we get all multiples of 293 Hz, while for D5 we get multiples of 587 Hz, which is two times the frequency of D4. When we play D6, which is 4 times D4, the strongest peak in the Fourier spectrum is at 1175 Hz, or 4 times D4.